Destiny is a first-person shooter with MMO features. It's the exciting feel of gameplay that keeps players coming back from day to day. Destiny Year One is now free to play for anyone. You can play it on PS4, Xbox, Steam, or Stadia. I love Destiny because it offers three core features. Variety, there are tons of different things you can do. Replayability, you can replay the things you like and still receive great rewards. And friendship, they say that the game is best experienced with your friends. My fondest memories were with the friends I made while playing the game. My closest friends are the ones I found in the world of Destiny. What drives you to play? Is it a competition between friends or rivals? A fashion game where you need to look good to play good? A collector's game where you have to unlock everything? Adventure game where you blaze a path to victory? A story game where you stop to understand the meanings in the universe? A prideful game where your accomplishments can be shared with others? Maybe a creative game where you can always try new ideas? This can be that game for you. Destiny is a passionate community where like-minded people can team up. I'm glad you can join us. What Destiny does not do well is instructions. The game constantly evolves over time, making guides no longer relevant. So hopefully this can help you understand what's going on. This introduction will cover controls and the user interface. When you start, you can choose between one of three classes of guardians. If you love the game, you can make one of each class. There's no point in having multiple characters of the same class. The main difference of classes is your ultimate super ability and your jump ability. Most weapons, consumables, and cosmetics are shared between all of your characters, so don't worry about making the wrong choice. Making a new character is easy. There are different controller configurations you can choose from and key mapping on PC. Movement is done with the left joystick or WASD, Looking is done with the right joystick or a mouse. You can sprint. You can jump. Hitting the jump button a second time will activate a jump ability. A third time would deactivate your jump ability for Warlocks and Titans. You can crouch. Hitting it again will uncrouch. Holding the button will use a Titan or Warlocks class ability. Double tap for Hunters. You can reload or scan an item. You can switch weapons or hold the button to switch to your heavy weapon. You can melee. This uses your melee ability when available. You can throw a grenade. You can aim down sights by holding the button down. You can fire. You can hold it to fire certain weapons. You can highlight a player to open up a menu. You can use your super ability. There are many different supers, melees, and grenades you can choose. You can also use emotes. One button will open your director map. One will pull out your ghost. From that menu, you can spawn a vehicle, open your map, or go to orbit. One will open your inventory. There will be tool tips in each menu on the lower right hand corner to teach you how to navigate through them. If you see a bar on the bottom middle of your screen, it tracks your experience. The bar on top of your screen tracks your health. When it turns red, you're about half damaged. If you're undamaged for a while, your health will come back. Through some abilities, you can also get a blue overshield to make you stronger for a short time. The main UI is in the bottom left corner. This tracks your weapons, ammo, and ability cooldowns. Sometimes you can have two melee or grenade charges. Those will be placed behind each other. Your weapons, armor, perks, and activity modifiers can affect how fast your cooldowns are. When they are charging, you can see the progress until they are ready. When they become ready, there will be an audio and visual cue. The top weapon will always be your equipped weapon. This will tell you how many rounds you can fire before reloading and how many you have in reserves. Picking up ammo packs from defeated enemies will refill your reserves. Active buffs and debuffs will appear in the middle left. In the top right, it will show you who is talking 
as well as subtitles on the bottom if they are turned on. If you enter an area, the name and location will appear above your cooldowns. In the top left is your current mission and your current goal in that mission. And above that is your radar. In the bottom right, you can see your score and scored playlists as well as current time. In the middle, you can see certain alerts such as rank ups and if your super is ready. If you die, you can use the reload button to come back to life after a countdown. If you're in a darkness zone and your team dies, you'll have to restart from the last checkpoint. This is known as a wipe. A darkness zone will have this icon on the top. You can also revive teammates by standing next to them after they have died and hold the reload button. If you have a microphone, you can also opt into fire team or team chat during missions. This concludes part one of this video series. If you want to learn more basics, you can check out the video playlist on screen or check this video's description. Cheese forever, Guardian.